Hello, everyone, and welcome to Watch and Walk podcast with Ebenezer. This podcast aims at inspiring you to trust in God and obey His Word every day. Be edified as you listen to this exhortation. Hello, friend. My name is Ebenezer, and I believe you are doing well by God's grace. Last week, I gave you the second part of my conversation with Solomon. Well, this week, I share with you the third part of my conversation with him, where we talk about Solomon's view of God and his definition of wisdom. And let me indicate here that the role of Solomon is played by Joao Morales, who is a Master of Divinity student at Baylor Stewart Seminary. Please listen to this part of our interaction. But let, let, let me go back um, to positive notes and positive points um, <laughs> in your life. Now, the scripture says that you spoke many proverbs. Of course, with the wisdom, you wrote many songs and you talked about building the temple. And Now, le- le- let me um, ask you to just pull ideas and thoughts from some of these songs or proverbs and just tell us about your view of God. Tell us about God. Who is the God of Israel, uh, according to Solomon, and the God of the Christian as well? So we we also worship him. We want to know more. The Lord is the one who gives wisdom. Hmm. The Lord is the one who gives wisdom, and uh, it is. And then again, I'm 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 drawing this from from my high mo- moment. Okay. Mm-hmm. In my high moment, when 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 I was at the top, at the peak was that moment that I humbled myself before the Lord. And I was afraid. I was literally afraid of this big responsibility that I have. Mm. And in that, that was the moment that I understood that the fear of the Lord, when, when you have that humble understanding that God is so great and you are so little, that humble understanding that I demonstrated when I, um, ask God uh, for wisdom. That's when I realized it. The, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Hmm. And so uh, my understanding of God is the one who gives wisdom to those who fear Him. And what I mean to those who fear Him is to those who understand that we are nothing. Hmm. That human beings are we're made of dust. But God can put his thoughts in us. He can make his words known to us, but only to the humble. Hmm. So wow. God is the one who gives wisdom to those who are humble. And that's why the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I say this over and over again. In fact, wow. Um, when they were putting to, they were putting together this book of Proverbs. And as a side note, they put together this book of Proverbs with most of my sayings, but they also added some sayings of some other wise people. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. pe- my place is like Proverbs 31. You see that I didn't write that, but I appreciated wisdom. Mm-hmm. In my most humble moments, uh, God's wisdom in me was such that I could see wisdom in others too. Mm. Mm. Um, but anyways, that's uh, yeah. I digress. It takes it takes wisdom to discern wisdom in other people. I noted yes. right. I noted that right now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right. But right. that's that's how I that's how I view God. Yeah. I view God in my best moment. Yeah. And um, of course, now you can link it to your view of humanity and life on Earth in general. What 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 thoughts do you have about that? Yeah, um, and that's where my thoughts get a little more frazzled I would say um, and at my height I saw humanity as children of God as people who can receive wisdom people who can marry wisdom uh, I talked about I, I when I wrote the pro, uh, some of these proverbs I talk about this lady wisdom and I talk about the young man marrying lady wisdom and kind of uh, all these kind of things so I talk about humanity like this. But then in my old age, when things went downhill, that's when I that's when I wrote Ecclesiastes. And that's where 
when I was really, really just jaded and disappointed with myself. And for me, humanity was just passing and fleeting. Hmm. And life was just vanity. Like all, all the things of this life, I just saw them as vanity. And because I had everything and I, I was vain. So, you see that my thoughts, they are, they, they, they are kind of like frazzled hmm. um, because there was a very different Solomon in different times. Like, mm -hmm. I, different went times. Through different, I went through different uh, yeah. times in life and yeah. Wow, that's no, great. Sorry, sorry, yeah. this thought is not... It's, as, it's depressing, but uh, I mean, it's it's good to know. I mean, I, I, I like to know and I believe my audience would love to also know and learn from it. But, you know, you, you mentioned wisdom over and over again, the beginning of wisdom, um, the fear of the Lord and everything. Um, just help us understand what is wisdom? And now we know, I mean, your view of humanity, how vain life can be when it disconnected, when it is disconnected from God. Uh, in, in Ecclesiastes, you say that in many, many places, but how would you describe or define wisdom? Of course, we know how it comes from your story and your teachings, but what is wisdom in simple terms? In simple terms, uh, I, I love that addition in simple terms, Evan. Yep. Uh, I don't know if I can describe it in simple terms. I don't know if I can describe it at all but let, let me try let me try here um to to describe wisdom wisdom is sort of a way of seeing the world you mm -hmm. see uh when i came here to the 21st century um i couldn't see things very well and people told me that it was because i was very old and that nowadays they use this these little glass things that you put over your eyes right they call it glasses i, I don't know mm -hmm. uh but I think of wisdom like this, this, this glasses, this lenses that people talk about. Wisdom is a way of seeing the world the way that God sees. Hmm. The wise person sees the world the way that God sees. To the degree that they can, given that they are mortals... Uh, fleeting human beings. But wisdom is this right understanding. When I asked God for wisdom to judge between right and wrong, what I was asking God is that He would give me the kind of eyes that He had to judge between right and wrong. Because He's the one who established right and wrong. He's the one who creates the world. Hmm. So wisdom is this way of seeing the world like God sees it. Wow. Is this lenses to see the world the way that God sees it. It's not one thing that just comes at once, right? That's where the, the glasses metaphor breaks. Because if you have glasses, you just put it on and wow, you see. Mm -hmm. But wisdom is this thing that you have to keep seeking. You know, seeking. you have to keep seeking the Lord mm. to receive this wisdom, which is the, his way of seeing the world, so that you can see the world the way that he sees the world. Wow. And and from what you are saying, it's not just about perspective, but it's also kind of a perspective that informs your life, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. your view of the world is not like this kind of disconnected view from the way you're living. No, 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 no. No, that, that that's an absolutely good catch. Hmm. Great, great point, Evan. Uh, yes, this way of viewing the world informs everything that you do. Hmm. Like you, uh, you are a wise man, Ebenezer, to, oh. to notice that. I, I thank God for wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> if, it is, if it is a wise saying. <laughs> yes, yes. Wisdom is about seeing and doing. Is about watching and walking. Oh, I'm doing watch and walk right now. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay, Solomon, go ahead. True wisdom is seeing the world the way that God does so that you may act the way that God intended us to act. 
Hmm. Great point. And it reminds me of Jesus' words in Matthew 7, when he was talking about the wise builder and the foolish builder. You, I mean, he who hears these words of mine and put them into practice or obeys them, I will liken him to a wise person building his house on the rock. And so uh, Jesus now gives us, as I said, the practical aspect of wisdom, that if you hear and it doesn't inform the way you are living, you are no different from the foolish person. As I said, that if you're really going to operate in the wisdom of God, then after seeing the truth, now you got to align your life with the truth. And so then he calls that when the storms come, then you will not fall. You will not be overcome and you will be considered as a wise person. But a foolish person hears. And if you're talking about view, and I like the, the, the add-on that you gave, that just the view and the person is not aligning or conforming to that kind of vision of God, then it's like you are no different from a foolish person because when the storms come, they will expose you. And I like I like that point that uh, you made about wisdom uh, with the glasses. And I mean, if you take off your glasses, I said, um, there are so many things you cannot see. You might even not walk well, but I can't, I can't imagine somebody seeing something pretty well through the glasses and choosing to ignore something that the glass has exposed. Okay. Anyway, I mean, I'm just loving I, I, this. I am the one. I am the one who who is impressed now by this guy that you're talking about. Uh, what's his name? Jesus. Yep. 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 Never, I mean, we, we I've talk never about heard him. of him. <laughs> I've ne- I've never heard of him. Like who who is him? Who are you talking about? But because mm-hmm. he seems like a wise man. Mm-hmm. Like I've never heard such words. What are you talking about? Who is him? Yeah, yeah. So this is the one that Christians follow and we believe and we call him the one in whom all treasures of wisdom and uh, knowledge dwell. And so uh, he said some very powerful words. And I said, we'll go be going to that uh, even much more. But well, that is it. No, 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 before it's no, no, no. I'm interested in this guy, Evan. Like, yeah. I'm interested in this guy. You, you cannot move on before you tell me more about this guy. Where do I read about this guy? I have this this thing here that you guys call Bible. Is he here? Yep. Yeah, he's in the New Testament. Oh, he start, you know, New from, Testament. I mean, of okay. course, a lot of prophecies about him in the Old Testament, but from Matthew, the Gospels, and everything, you know, just talk Matthew. about him. Matthew. Okay, l- l- yeah. let me take a look here. The book of Matthew. Oh, genealogy of Jesus. Oh, that's helpful. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the Messiah. Oh, wait, the, he's the Messiah. Yep. Oh, the promised one from God. Yep. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. Wait. And David was the father of Solomon, by the way. Wait, that's my father, David. Yep. That's, that's, is it me, Solomon, here? Yep. Wait, you're saying that I am this guy's great, 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 great grandfather? Yeah, by the flesh, definitely. Oh. Wow. So you are saying that the wisest man of all, the wisdom of God, because I, I knew, I knew when I, when I, when they called me wise, I knew that I was wise because God gave me wisdom. But, but there was this inkling of this Messiah, this one who would come from God. You're saying that by the flesh, I, I am his ancestor. Mm-hmm. You are with all the mess, God still redeemed. And that is the, 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 the theme that we're talking about. And it's, it's, it's wonderful, isn't it? It is wonderful, and well, let's 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 move let's move on before before. <laughs> uh, I, on I, I, I'm flabbergasted. I, I I'm tearing up here to, yeah. to know that God redeemed this messed up family of mine. Yeah, He did. I hope that you learned a lot from this part of our conversation. God willing, next week I'll share with you the last part. Until then, may God bless your reflections in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening to Watch and Walk Podcast with Ebenezer. Watch and Walk Podcast comes to you this and every Wednesday. To get notifications of new episodes, please subscribe. This podcast is brought to you by Watch and Walk Ministry. Visit us at watchandwalk.org to learn more about this ministry. God bless you.